I'm going to sneeze in a minute, and it's not. Good day. <laughs> Excuse me. Ah. Oh. Hello everyone, welcome back to Poppy Playtime. We're in chapter two, Fly in a Web, very kindly gifted by the person otherwise known as KG. I'll tell you what he was known as before the otherwise, but it doesn't matter. With Poppy now free, the situation begins to change rapidly while you search for any way to escape the factory. <sighs> yeah, I think Huggy won Gem of the Month. For, uh, for March, so I'm not looking forward to this. And with the spider overtones that we're getting. Oh. With Playtime Co.'s new patented elastic plastic, you can stretch, pull, and twist mommy long legs in the craziest ways. Oh, you don't twist her like play. that. When you're having fun, she's having fun. The Dude. new Mommy Long Legs from Playtime Co. What's the time? Did you hear that? I heard someone whisper, wake up in my right ear. Towards the end of that. Oh, here we go. Wake up in the web. Oh, there's a face. This is horrible. Oh, it's Poppy's face, I think. Wake up. No! Nope, we're all good. Poppy Playtime, kindly sponsored by shitting my boxers inside out. And all over some cuddly, technicolor, hilarious lol uh, robot, basically. That's. That's the issue with this. Why am I getting so much lag? It should not be... should not be a game that provides so much lag. Now, look, there's a... There's a door behind here, as I expected. Right. Door time. We press E to open the door, and we continue down. I've forgotten what the spider pink thing was called, but here's a nice long corridor for her to demonstrate her exorcist spider walking abilities. They had to put that in the advert, didn't they? There's someone watching me from up there. Can you see that? Whoa! Got how far these could extend. Excellent. Double excellent. No stairways for me. Oh, he's... He's all twisted. I heard someone whisper this way. Oh, this is horrid. We, we're we straight in the deep end here, at least with chapter one. We knew that we had lots of time where we were just enjoying ourselves. Just, you know, enjoying the, the storyline and the various bits and pieces. Now there's a vent there that's come off a wall somewhere. Elliot Ludwig. He was definitely a person mentioned in part one. Where am I going? I'm going this way. Subverting your expectations. Ah, oh, but it doesn't look like I'm going to be able to do much with this. Maybe? I don't know. What's this do? What if I do that? Oh, hello. All right, so we can swing across. Right, well, we need to check Elliot Ludwig's room first, don't we? Welcome to me gaming. Great. Yeah, welcome to me gaming. Just sort of testing this route, testing that route, going back, going forward, making sure I haven't missed anything. I hope we don't have to do this under time pressure, because... Did you see how poor that was? Let's do it with the other hand. Okay. There we go. It's New York City. Spider-Man has taken over the press. Press? <laughs> I pressed there. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I wonder if we do it three times, he'll do something demonic. Can someone need a hug? Give me a big squeeze. I promise I won't bite. Yeah, well, you did. Come closer, friend. Oh, God. I'll squeeze you until you... 
Pop! I was trying to say pop. <laughs> oh boy. Right. How do we? There we. Oh, that's right. We hold on, don't we, to drag? I'm remembering this now. Really hope I never have to do that under time pressure. Okay, we can't take those off, so we'll use whatever's in here. Help us with that. Hey, baby. What is this? This is a big key with a poppy on it. There it is. Uh, that's items and trophies. Left mouse button to inspect. Okay, cool. Scroll to browse. Right. We have an inventory. That seems to be running as expected. Ah, a key. Okay, I guess the key is for that Elliot Ludwig room. Um, we'll ignore that. Hang on, that looked like my toy. Do you remember the one I made in, in part one, chapter one? And then it got thrown through here when I got chased by Huggy, perhaps? Or perhaps we'll see a few of that. Let's practice this. It was average, the swing today. In we go. Close the creakiest door in the world behind us. Have a look at things. Candy cat. Buggy wuggy. Oh, I picked up a daisy. Can I have a look at the daisy? Please? Oh. Uh, it's not letting me inspect that, though. Maybe it's something that we just take, I'm not sure. My best friend is a dinosaur co called Red Dinosaur. My worst friend is the physics. Poppy, thank you, Mr. Ludwig. Or Elliot Ludwig. Huggy and Kissy. Hmm. Kissy is much more problematic. Huggy was already problematic. That's my shinks covered in blood. Right, okay, come on, stop. Stop, um... Oh, stop hanging about, Steve. We need to find a tape for that, don't we? Can we get up there, I wonder? Can we drag this? I mean, we sort of can. I'd love to get in the... Uh-oh. In that vent. Whoa. There's all sorts of stuff going on here. No, I don't think we can get in. Let's ignore it. There's a tape. Uh, so we've got a tape and a note. The note states, This experiment, 814 or 817, uh, utilised a live rat. The rat was fed three portions daily for two weeks. At the end of the two weeks, the rat was killed and submerged into a poppy flower and preservative gel mixture. That's what he was submerged into. One week later, an electric shock was applied to the rat, which was still in the gel in an attempt to revive it, and the rat remained unresponsive. Analysis. Of course, it didn't work. I still believe in the potential of the puffy flower. Its unusual properties lead me to believe that the proper mixture and procedure could have life-altering properties. Uh, the puffy flower has, for a long time, carried heavy symbolism, and I don't believe that's for no reason. Perhaps something larger than a rat would yield different results. Let's try a human, said Elliot Ludwig. Uh, let's have a look at his autobiography, then. Let's watch it on the big screen. Playtime Co. is the product of a great man by the name of Elliot Ludwig. Divorced, but a family man at heart. His Redacted. sights were always set on bringing amazing toys to amazing children around the globe. Ludwig spent countless hours in the factory, working overtime relentlessly in an attempt to continuously innovate and surprise. In the 1960s, an unfortunate family death had pushed Ludwig down to his lowest. But with so much ambition, he rose back up and continued to fulfill his vision for the Playtime Co. toy factory. But he was very shy. Ludwig could never be content leaving a project unfinished. But just how did one man come to create such an astounding empire? How did he manage to stay determined even after suffering such a tragic loss? 
Hmm. It all began in the fateful year of 19... Oh my god. Okay, 19-something it all began in. And... We're gonna have to take their word for it. It's so dark. Right. It's lightened again a little bit for YouTube. It didn't save the setting from last time. I'm gonna sneeze in a minute and it's not... Good day! <laughs> Excuse me. Ah! Oh. For fuck's sake, Sorry. that wasn't satisfying at all. I didn't mean to scare you. Look, I just need a moment. I... Sorry, Poppy. Oh. Right, okay, I can't get... <laughs> I can't get uh, subtitles up. Uh, I think the sneeze is gone for now. That was really embarrassing. And continue. I was just trying to get the power back on. Here. I wonder if it was Ludwig's daughter, then, that he's imbued into the doll or something like that. She seems okay, like she's being nice. Which I like. You want the power on, do you? Whoops. Alright, do it this way. Alright, do it this way. <laughs> Got what we're doing now. Oh, and then we have to try and get it into there, don't we? Freeing me. I was stuck in there for so long. I wanted to thank you for reminding me of the tutorial. Like to pay you back. Okay. There's a train station nearby. It needs a coat, and I have it. We're gonna get out of here. Great. Okay, I'm escaping. As soon as you get on up here. With Poppy. <laughs> I will. Uh. I'm just confused for. Yep. Oh, I don't like this at all. Yep, let's go up. Come on. While I'm still a doll. <laughs> Can I use that? No. That's where I came uh, from. Don't you want to come with me? Yeah. You're making me sad. Don't. Oh, can I? There we go. I'm with you. Shit, don't start crying. Uh, I am trying my best to work out how to get to... Get up to you. I've, I, I don't know. I'm sorry. There's a ladder here that I cannot interact with. Okay. Um, we've powered that on. That's cool. Can't use that. Shipment is highly fragile. Do not drop. I mean, I guess I just have to go straight back at the way I came then. He says. There we are. Is this correct? Hey, I'm yeah. up here. I see you. <laughs> I should be able to follow you through the vents. This way. All right, cool. Still not sure what I think of her yet. Double high five gets me through. Right, so she's in the vents there. That's all good. Don't scare me. That was nice. Storpy Starper. Right, so she'll appear there in a second, probably to ship me up. A busy bee, that's me. Oh, that's cute. Uh, playtime co-employees are not permitted to leave until they have completed their daily tasks. Cool. Well, that's, um... That's that toy, isn't it? The one I made. Okay, there's that which probably could open, but we're going in here. Hey, Poppy. Listen. Be nice. I'm going to need you to trust me. Whoa! Right, okay, that's the baddie. Oh, bad luck. Yeah, let's get away from there. All right, play palace. Game station, innovation, that's the way we came, are from, yeah, game station, production, and research. I don't suppose we just jump in there, do we? I suppose we do. Oh. 
There is a tunnel of sorts. A vertical tunnel. Oh, here we go. Right. Oh, fun! Okay, cool. So they're all able to get down from each of their offices by going on huge fun slides. Game station. Let's get the power on for the game station, shall we? Play some games. Um... Whoa. What's wrong with that? Ah, okay. Well, we'll just do it backwards then. Ah. Interesting. Double interesting. Okay. So when I do that, it... Hmm. So I need to be kind of here then, don't I? But that's not going to work because it needs to touch these. Wow, all right. Uh, so if I touch that at all, it really does just snap it off. And the snapper is here. Yeah, this is, this is where it is, isn't it? So the door is there, the door is there. So what I'm going to want to do is, if we do that, I was hoping I could sort of get it round before, ready, go! Okay, that's not going to work. But of course it does need to touch them. I can trigger them by just doing that, which is interesting. Blue pipe is suspicious. Can't do anything with it though. Cable just leads out the way it should do. Ah. So if I go here and use that pipe, obviously that'll happen. But if we do it again, hang on. There we go. There we are. Aha! Cool. We can walk around this way. Oh, this is very cool. Now, we've got to not mess this up. How oh, the bloody hell. We're going to make sure this doesn't get screwed. So if we walk around it like this, perhaps. Yes! Then it's just a case of... Boom! Puzzle Storpy has opened the game station for business. It is the British way. When you stopped lagging, thank you. Oh! She stole it. Oh, wow. Instead, Very cool. Why don't we make a game out of it? Sounds good. The game station is still working. It will be just like old times. And if you win all three games, I'll give you the train code. <gasps> Mommy loves that idea, Poppy. Oh, you're going to have so much fun. Head to Musical Memory and Mommy will get things started. Musical memory. Obey the rules, or I'll tear you apart and eat your insides while you're still alive. <laughs> All right, very overtly threatening, but at least uh, there was no sort of scare, and she's been vaguely reasonable about things. So. Interesting. Is that like an artist's depiction of the Playtime Factory? And then, of course, this is all the lovable characters that we're going to have to fight off. We don't have a red arm. That's okay. That just simplifies things. It's fine. The game station. Look at this. Wow.
All right, tell me. Tell me. All right, well, that did nothing. Enough of that. Uh, mum. Uh, mummy and me. Happiness. Happiness is a blue frog called Huggy. Uh, there's lots of space in this room. Got some floaty toys in webs. I think Mummy is nearby. Wacka Wuggy. Alright, we can play Wacka Wuggy whenever we need to. Let's check over this side. What's this all about? I love Mummy. I think her name might be Mummy. Let's call her Mummy Spider, shall we? And up the slide. Oh, we can go up the slide. We picked up a train. Don't know what we need the train for, but... Oh, there you go. Daisy and the train. So they're just trophies. I love Mummy Longlegs. That's her name. Mummy Longlegs. Like Daddy Longlegs, but it's a mummy. All right. Two. Bronn. You are my best friend. For you, some cookies. I fail to see how the dinosaur can be uh, bad. You know, how, how that can be made into a scary, threatening monster. Because, I mean, contrary to real dinosaurs, which were scary, terrifying monsters, that one looks particularly friendly and affable. Yeah, okay, so lots of children's, like, fan drawings of... Uh, of stuff. Let's play a game, shall we? Let's press you. Preparing for departure in three. Oh my two, god. No. One. Choo choo. Choo choo. Alright, let's pull this. Hi kids. Welcome to the game station. Let's play. I'm Stella. I'm in, I'm into this. This is fun. Super duper fun games to play. Okay. These little tests show us just how crazy strong and smart you are. Follow Mommy Longlegs down the stairs, and we'll start by playing Musical Memory. See you in a bit. I don't want to follow Mommy Longlegs anywhere, but Musical Memory sounds good, I think. Oh, there it is. Oops. Musical Memory. How is this going to be horrifying? I don't doubt it will be. Let's party! Playtime Co. employees are not permitted to partake in group festivities during company hours. I'm getting very sort of Portal and Portal 2 vibes here. I know when your birthday is! June 28th. <laughs> it's the KGB, guys. Everyone run from the KGB. I don't think we can get into there. Oh, was he even the door? No, it wasn't. I guess it's just down the enormous crack in the floor. Oh, bloody hell. The moulding room. This isn't musical memory. Should I be here? Don't put me in the moulder. Ooh. Shit. I've got a tape. Uh. Oh god. Let go, please. Oh, we'll just have to leave it. And watch the tape. I've just noticed how long your arm is depends on the circle in the middle of the screen. Look. Shorter. Longer. Etc. Right. Shoot the green power outlet to temporarily hold electricity. Electric charge lasts for 10 seconds. After the 10 seconds, the charge runs out. I saw a green one on a train, on the train in the other room. When holding electricity, shoot green hand receivers. So we can power up the train. Cool. To temporarily, pa temporarily power the other systems. Let's do that. They are on the same timer. Lack of caution may result in injury. They are on the same timer. Oh, right, so the thing you power 
has the same amount of time left as the electricity you've got, so 10 seconds to do the whole thing. I'm gonna die. What's the time? It's Playtime Co. Right, this looks like what I want to grab, but annoyingly... <laughs> annoyingly, it's bugged and stuck. And I, I cannot get rid of it. So I'm not quite sure what to do about that. I mean, we're doing that. Oh, look, the pipe's broken. Okay, we need to fix that. Can I at least get my hand back? <laughs> I presume I can't. I think I'm stuck with this. That's a real shame. Oh, but it is continuing forever. So that's fun. But we can at least work out what we want to do. I think we want to get that. It's a real molder, look. It uses actual hands. All right. Safety first, Playtime Co. is not liable for injury sustained on company property. Routinely review Playtime Co.'s safety policies. No one does that these days, I'm afraid. Right, let's take some green electricity. Doesn't work. Okay. Cool. Well, let's try doing this again anyway. So it's telling us, press this. It drops a load of ping pong balls or something in there. When that's full, it's then time to get them to go up there, but can we drag it back into place? Yes, we can. Beautiful. All right, through it goes into the eye thing. What are we making? Start it up. Oh. Oh no, it, <laughs> it makes hands. Okay. Oh, I'm going to make myself a new hand. Well done, Steve. Oh, we had a paint. No paint in machine. Well, that's not paint, that's light, Steve. Who and where? <laughs> Sounded like someone angrily trying to get get in. What is this noise? Oh, is that is that green paint? Brilliant, got it. Chuck it in there. Seems good so far. You can turn that sign off now. I fixed it. Good, and then whatever this is. Turn them off for um, boxing and shipping. I'll have one though. Thanks very much. Right, so we've got a green hand. Gotcha. And it's going to go. Wherever it goes. I don't even know what we want to power. Oh, this. But. Then it flashes to let us know we've got maybe three seconds left. Cool. Right. Three, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, go. Yeah, so it's when you've got three seconds left. I counted a bit fast. Shit. Who's where? Ah, oh, we're here! <laughs> right, think green. Reduce, reuse, and recycle in that order, guys. Reduce, reuse, recycle. Employee recycle hablet remnants must not be plinned when I'm cutting a workflow. You're right. I know when your birthday is! 
Yeah. Two twenty-eight. <laughs> Incorrect. Thank goodness. All right. Not the biggest fan of that. Oh God. <laughs> uh. Welcome to musical memory. Oh, we're playing. All right. Shh. Shit, he's this gonna get advanced me if I memory get it and wrong. cognitive recognition test is designed to stimulate several segments of the brain, allowing us to see how quickly and efficiently your brain works. I've got a brilliant brain. Let's go. A sequence of colors will be shown, and you must recreate the exact sequence using the buttons around you. Okay. Bunzo will slowly lower towards you. Oh. When you complete a color pattern correctly, Bunzo will rise back up. Good. When you input a pattern incorrectly, Bunzo will lower towards you faster. Not happy if about Bunzo that. If Bunzo reaches you, your test is over. Bunzo. The test will become more difficult as it continues, with longer patterns in quicker succession. Right, my narration That's might all. be minimal Good here, luck. guys. It might be minimal. Okay, let's play. Let's do this. I'm going to try and get this done in one. There's four... There's a load of buttons. Oh, my oh, God! Great voice actor. Oh, that's the dinner bell. Good luck. All right. Okay, I think we'll I think we're we're safe here. Right, what have Yellow. we got? Yellow. 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 Red. Yellow. Yellow. Red. Green. Yellow, yellow, red, green. Yellow, yellow, red, red green, blue. Yellow, yellow, red, green, blue. Easy. Round two. Oh, round two. Okay, come on, we red. can do this. Red. Red, green. Red, green. Red, green, green. Red, green, green. Red. Red. Red, green, green, red. Red, green, green, red, blue. Red, green, green, red, blue. Red, green, green, red, blue, violet. Red, green, green, what? Red, blue, violet. I'm so glad there was a violet. Oh shit. Okay. Where's orange? Orange blue. Orange blue. Orange blue. Orange. Orange blue. Orange. Why are you saying orange? Orange blue. Orange white. Orange blue. Orange white. Orange blue. Orange white. Red. Orange blue. Orange white. Red. Orange blue. Orange white. Red. White. Orange blue. Orange white. Red. White? Oh, thank goodness. That was Round reaching four. my limit. Round four, here we go. Blue. Blue. Blue J. Blue J heart. Blue J heart. Pie. Blue, oh my god, J, heart, oh, pie, pie. Blue, J, heart, pie, pie, pie. Fine, blue, J, heart, pie, pie. You right? Pie. Back up you go. Round five. Question mark, smiley face, Rebecca, blue, heart, organ, smiley face, smiley face, yellow, heart, massive, green, orange, 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 The manual override. It broke. That's no fun. For doing such a splendid job. I thought it was fun. Everyone has decided to give you 
part of the code for the train. Look up. Oh, Take hello. It. Really buggered that again, didn't I? Uh, right, okay. Oh, wow. Icons must be sequenced out in this exact order. I thought it was going to be like 1984 or something. Okay, so those four. Interesting. That's the icon sequence. Fine. Mummy was hoping the game could last a little longer. And I'm sure a lot of you wanted to it's see me die, okay, though. though. Mummy knows other ways to play with you. Oh, she's so good. She's so good. What's this? That's where I'm going, I think. Mummy knows other ways to play with you. Uh, we can't jump off, though. The only issue. I want to get out that way. Ah, oh, game. Come on. We've got to stop bugging like this. Oh, good. It's back. Okay, well, there's my arm. Doesn't matter, though. We're through. We're through. We're through, we're through, we're through. Whoops. Probably shouldn't do that. It keeps bugging. Um, right, that was really fun. As I say, I'm, I'm sure a lot of you probably wanted to see me fail there so you could see me die. But I, I kept a cool head. I should look back at the heart rate through that because I want... I wonder how that was looking. Yeah, it got ridiculous when it gave me all those words and other things and it was just spewing a load of symbols. But... You can't go wrong with a floating exclamation mark. That's the, the get out key for anything. Oh boy. It's Toy Story 2, I think. Wanna hear a dino joke? Yes. Click once for the question, click again for the punchline. <laughs> Alright, I can't wait. Let's try and work it out. What do you call a dino with one eye? No eye dino. Uh, do you think he saw us? <laughs> What do you call a dinosaur with one eye's dog? Do you think he saw us, Rex? Oh, a cooker. These are very ugly little cookers, aren't they? Right. Owen the Oven has been rejected because of multiple cases of children receiving third degree burns. That's all the rejects. There's that thing. There's whatever this is. Sir poops a lot. Try me. I would love to try Sir Poops a lot. I can relate. Large poppy dolls. What's this? Repaint. These ones need repainting. Rejected. Uh, retail shipment. Uh, rejected because the entire batch of toys is miscolored due to Patty Hall sabotaging the paint machine. The saboteur has since been dealt with. This barrel of huggies has been rejected because it was a choking hazard. Children tried to eat from the barrel, thinking it was candy. Well, idiots. Includes 22 individual huggies. Chain them together in over 22 unique ways. Okay. I mean, how can you choke on one of those? They're huge. Maybe I just answered my own question. Have a look down this one. I quite enjoy doing the exploring in this game. It's a nice bit of quiet, relatively safe downtime. Uh, Kick Me Paul was rejected because nobody likes him. Laughed out a presentation meeting when revealing Kick Me Paul. Ah, oh, poor Paul. I wouldn't mind a Kick Me Paul. A bunch of other rejects here. Oh, Daisy the marionette. Too scary for young children. Children in test audiences cry during Daisy's performance. We make her go. She looks a bit scary like to see more Daisy. Should we get the trophy? Okay, I don't seem to be able to take it, but that's all right. Can we grab what it's on? No, I can't seem to grab hold of anything. Oh well. Not too worried. Oh, hang on. Ah, oh, damn, I was hoping we'd be able to move this along. Maybe we can. Uh, looks like a sort of crane toy thing. Um, the orange robot toy. 
After considering both options, management has decided to go with Mummy Long Legs as Playtime Co's stretch toy concept. But someone has doodled. I like him personally. There she is, Mummy. Mummy Long Legs, stretch her. Fully poseable. So there's lots of small versions of all of these, but then there's some, you know, the, the obviously the, the absolutely massive version of Huggy or of uh, Poppy, and then presumably loads of others as well. And we don't know quite where they've come from or how they, how they have come to exist. What do you have to say for yourself? I didn't really hear what you said. Okay. Someone's cheating at noughts and crosses. Right, that's now out and about. We also want a turquoise tape. Because I want to I want to learn more. <laughs> so look out for a turquoise tape, everyone. And shout if you see it. I found it. No need to shout. Be quiet, stop shouting. Hello, little cat. I've got a cat beneath me who is screaming at me. Misty. Oh, hello, pretty thing. Right. We're playing. Sorry, you can't have cuddles now. Well, it finally happened. So glad I found the tape. Be the company actually heard all my complaints. Yep, they listened to them very carefully. I guess my words must have really inspired them to take action. Because the next day I got demoted down here to the freaking island of misfit toys! <sighs> Why do I talk to myself? Interesting. So he is sentient then. That's a bit weird. That is just a little bit weird. Hello, meow meow. Right. There we go, drag it over. The button. Oh, it's a power thing, isn't it? Where's where's my green power then? Where's my green power? She's up here. Keep this premise tidy. Oh, what? Absolute bullshit. That is totally over it. Oh, it's not at all, is it? Uh, we're almost there. There we go. Trophy collecting time, baby. Well, I like this idea. It's cool. Yeah. Gimme, gimme, gimme. We got a Bunzo. Let's have a look at him. Yeah, Bunzo didn't uh, didn't manage to get me. Right, let's drag this round here. Presumably, we have to do this for some reason. Not sure where it's going to go. Oh, all the way around the entire place, and then up there. Maybe it'll help pick me up into that room. I'm not sure. But at least we know what we're doing. Bring it as far this way as possible. You know, this game does have a lot more going for it than just the sort of lol jump scares that I think Five Nights at Freddy's, for example, had. Um, not to say that that didn't have rich, deep, interesting, knee-jerk made-up lore or anything, but um, no, it had more than that. But yeah, I, I like this as a concept. It's definitely different from, from what I think inspired it or what looks like inspired it. And I'm enjoying it save for a couple of little bugs and bits. But we can forgive it. Okay. Really not sure what we're doing here, but I... Maybe we're picking up the dinosaur. Bozo, or whatever his name is.
cool. Oh, Christ, what did I do? Oh, I don't know what that was. Aha! Big red button, all right. Weight capacity is reached. I see, I know what we're doing. So, we need to give that some power. Wait till it's got it and then drag it off. Then we can get on here. Then the weight won't be over capacity because I am not a big person. Well, not too big. When's the chase? I'm just waiting for the chase. Maybe there isn't going to be a chase. Maybe we're just, you know, enjoying ourselves for once. That's that button. Smash.